And then there were some several loud noises, so very, very loud bangs, even on, you know, I could hear it was a, it was a signal call. And it turned out that the, the, the building that he was in was being uh, bombed at the time. Somebody had seen his van. There were, there were, there were uh, three or four agency vans in the parking lot. Probably not the best idea, but somebody had noticed them. Somebody was friendly to Russia and took pictures and then posted that online. And within a few hours, they came under attack because of that online photo. It's, it's one of those, one of those new ways right, that, that information is being transferred and, and intelligence services are monitoring that transfer of information in order to help with targeting. Uh, the, the, the agency that was, that was bombed discovered who did the bombing because they were able to ping the cell phone towers and then get the cell phone number of the guy that posted the information to this, I think it was to Telegram, and, and then sent out a team to find him. So, which is done using drones and video and other types of surveillance. So it's really a, if there's a technology that is even in beta, it's being used right now in Ukraine. That to me is just priceless information for the United States, for other allies uh, to, to be able to document and use it going forward to increase our own proficiency in, an, in a new world and a new type of warfare.